Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is India and today we are going to be doing our June wrap up. Hi everybody and like I said, yes, today we're gonna to be doing our June wrap up. Yes, I know when this video is going up. Yes, I know I'm behind, but that's okay, I'm back. I'm back and so you guys are getting the videos. So let's do it, okay? You guys know on my Patreon, you guys will be getting um, some behind the scenes book reviews on some of these. Um, so just enjoy the ride on my Patreon and um, how I feel about them. You guys over here, and also not only my Patreon, but on my memberships, you guys over here will be getting um, some short and sweet some short and sweet um, commentary about the books. Um, June, 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 June. Let's see. We read one, two, three, four, five books in June. We read five books in June. I'm so proud of myself. So proud of myself. I just found out I passed my nursing. I just found out I have a new job and I am doing fucking great in June. So we read five books. Anyway. First one up was The Doctor, The Nashville Neighborhood Number One by Nikki Sloan. So this book feature is a romance, it features Daddy King, um, it features, um, I think it's Boyfriend's Dad, um, and yeah, Ex-Boyfriend's Dad, so yeah was it great it was so great i gave it four out of five stars so good so to finish on to continue with my nashville neighborhood i read the second nashville neighborhood number two the pool boy this one features an older woman with a younger man um so that was really exciting because i actually hadn't read it older woman younger man this one features music and boys and lust and unrequited love and was just so good so good i loved it um and you know, and you get to see the characters from the doctor and the pool boy and you get to, and it just all comes together. I also gave this book four stars. <laughs> so then all of a sudden I really wanted male escort books, right? I don't know why. I don't know why. I don't know why you want to ask me. I don't know. Um, but I read Thrust. Thrust. <laughs> The Alpha Escort series number one by Sybil Bartell. Um, just like it sounds, it is about a male escort. Um, I gave this book four out of five stars. Um, and I absolutely loved it. And it was just it was just so good. Um, it's more than like an alpha romance series and it follows um Hell if I know. Hell if I remember who it follows. Um, he was like the best. Wait, what? This is why you don't read like. Oh my God. Sorry. Let me not do this. Um, but I really enjoyed it. Um, um, featuring our alpha escorts and you know who of course you know the girl makes some change well not really um but just enough <laughs> um but he's a high priced male escort and how, i forget how they meet you know i'll have to think about that um when i really look through it because i just don't remember right now so i'm sorry but i really enjoyed it it was good it was hot it was steamy loved it like loved it. it it definitely satisfied the male escort vibe I really wanted at the time I don't know why next up is neon gods by my by my dark romance queen Katie Robert Ooh, neon gods is so good it's dark Olympus number one I gave it four stars and I pretty I can't remember why I gave it four stars it just wasn't quite a five star read um but if you haven't started the wicked villain series read the wicked villain series because it kind of goes together with that world a little bit but kind of a little bit like 
not too much, just enough to where to where you understand how the layout and the power structure of that world goes. Um, but it's basically a Hades and Persephone retelling, which I have just been eating lately, a Hades and Persephone retelling. Um, so loved it. Katie Roberts just does a great, great job. This features kink, this features BDSM, this features power struggle. Um, it is just so good. And then on top of that, yes, the girl ends up being her own hero. So, it's great. I really enjoyed it. I can't wait to read the next one. I love me some Katie Roberts. Like, I can go down a Katie Roberts rabbit hole. Katie Roberts rabbit hole. I can't. Just letting you know. So good. Um, the final book I read it, I read it. I read in um, June was A Girl Like Her by Talia Hibbert. Um, Ravenswood number one. Um, this features um, a girl who has autism, who loves comic books, who um, lives on her own and she just doesn't um, like to talk to a lot of people all the time. Um, and then all of a sudden she has a new neighbor who lives across from her who um, who decides to take care of her. Take care of her sounds, sounds worse and good all at the same time because he takes care of her. <laughs> but um, who he doesn't mind. Not mind is a terrible way to put it. Um, you know, she's lived in her hometown her whole entire life. So everybody knows about her autism and that she's just a little different than everybody else is how the whole town would put it. And then here comes Evan back and he's ex-military and he's like, bro, I like this girl. I like her a lot. How do I get in there? So he decides to cook. And if someone cooked for me, I would also be like, get in there. If you're wondering. My man is not cooking for me right now. He's cooking for himself. Let me just take this off right now. Just take it off. Just kidding. Just kidding. I don't. Anyway, guys. <laughs> now that I've gone on way too many rambles. Um... That is the five books that I read in June. So let me know what you think. Um, for those of you guys who are part of the Patreon world, um, Patreon and membership world, um, I'll see you guys over there with some more libations and more words to say. Okay. Um, so that's it for me, guys. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. Don't forget to hit that like button. Don't forget to hit that bell notification button so you never miss anything. Don't forget to follow me on all of the social medias because then you would have kept up with this time that I haven't been on booktube. But yeah, anyway, until next time, keep turning the pages.